Hey, you're looking good today. This is Frank in the Brazil Times newsroom, and here's what's happening. As city park uh, workers were cleaning up the mess, local officials were investigating an act of vandalism at Forest Park Wednesday. Brazil Park Superintendent Marv Moon confirmed someone spray-painted graffiti on the band shell sometime between 7 p.m. Tuesday night and 7 a.m. Wednesday morning. The city of Brazil will have a cleanup day in October. The following items will not be accepted during heavy trash hauling. No construction materials, paint, tires, batteries, and TVs will be picked up. The schedule is going to be on our website and will be in the paper. Hey, Bob Hutchins, good to see you today. And last night, the uh, Clay County Redevelopment Commission met and uh, several items were discussed and uh, op uh, business was concluded on some of them. PDF is getting a positive recommendation before the county council. Kenny Maurer was uh, present and uh, uh, Kenny said that they're going to add 63,000 square feet to their current building. They had 10 acres and they have purchased an additional 10 acres. And uh, that uh, additional space is going to be used to house new equipment, which will add jobs. Uh, but uh, Mr. Maurer didn't say how many jobs he expected. It's going to, to be added to the east end of the building. And uh, as I say, that is uh, going to the County Council with a positive recommendation from the Redevelopment Commission. Tom Ames, president of the Redevelopment Commission, says it's nice to have local business keep expanding, keep improving. And uh, we'll have more for you as uh, time goes on, I'm sure. Also, there's going to have to be a road built to the former eutectics plant in order for that building to be sold and uh, used by new industry. And uh, the road will uh, be about uh, one half mile long and will take 10 inches of gravel to complete that. Uh, the cost would be about $100,000, however, uh, that's going to be picked up by the uh, developer as things stand now, and the county could reimburse the developer uh, if the new company generates a tax increment. If not, then of course it'll be up to the developer to uh, pay for that road, and uh, we'll see how that develops as well. There's been three failed attempts to market the Eutectics building. So the developer has uh, finally decided there just has to be a road in there that semis can use to get in and out to the plant, whatever goes in there. In the past, it was serviced by a railroad spur. The spur uh, is still there. However, of course, a lot of the uh, shipping these days is done by semi. And the lift station at the corner of Industrial Park Road and uh, uh, Great, Great Dane uh, is going to need uh, the whole inside redone, renovated, probably in the next year or so. The cost will be in the neighborhood of $100,000. So that's what we have for you today. We gl are glad that you stopped by. Karen Burks here. Glad to see you, Karen. Also, Michael A. Peterson. Glad to see you, Mike. And uh, I need to send you an email because uh, you have brought up something about uh, a piece of equipment that I thought was interesting, and I need to know more about it. At any rate, I'm glad to see you, and until we get together next time, have a great day.